may we know the details about the cabinet meeting last night? What happened? What did the president tell Secretary Sueno? The president was quite uh, open and frank in questioning uh, Secretary. Uh, initially, uh, in fact, almost at the beginning of the uh, of the meetings. However, uh, he set it aside, and we finished the uh, the meeting, which took about several hours actually. And then it was only afterwards that he uh, made a closing statement. And what was the closing statement, if you can quote? Let's, well, um, I, you know, for some reason, uh, I just caught the tail end of it. But uh, basically, he said that uh, he had uh, that the that the uh, secretary was being uh, let go. And what was former Secretary Swain's response? Uh, there was a short exchange and then that was it. It was basically a loss of confidence. A loss of confidence, a loss of trust and confidence in the, uh, in the, in the man and the position. Does it have something to do with the letter of the three undersecretaries of the ILG? I doubt it. Do? I doubt it's more than just the letters. He has apparently some, uh, some uh, insight into the situation. You know, the, the president is a lawyer, and you have to give it to him. He does due diligence. What was uh, the proof that convinced the president that the no, allegations uh, were apparently, true? Apparently, uh, here's what I can tell you. He, the president has, uh, is aware that uh, apparently checked into a history of, uh, uh, history of activities of uh, the secretary. And, uh, but that's about it. That's about all that I can tell you. Mr. There was no accusation. They were just questioning. What kind of questions was he asking, sir? The president was asking, did the, did the secretary, good secretary, did the secretary travel abroad to this particular place? And uh, did he know the background of it, uh, of the actual situation? And... Uh, more or less along that line, he's, he's, the, the president seemed to just be interested in establishing uh, whether or not the, uh, the secretary had actually engaged in certain activities. How is the case of former Secretary Sueno different from that of Cesar Montano? Because the, he was, Mr. Montano was also accused of corruption, but the president said they should just file a complaint against him and he trusts him. So isn't that an inconsistency in the president's position? Not necessarily if, we, if the president has made his due diligence on this particular is issue. So it's something that he can act on with decisiveness. So, uh, I think for one reason, for, uh, well, for, especially for the fact that uh, uh, he was dealing, this particular uh, situation deals with a cabinet member. So it's something that uh, for him is of deep import.